like the rain stopped. Too wet to cut, but we can still do something. But first of all, tsunami. Oh yeah. Well, I don't think I can do that yard. Thank goodness that backyard's cleaned up. Man, look at that mess. I'm telling you guys, it was a downpour. But I'm not done. Uh, uh. That is the reason why I'm coming back this way. Because I'm going to collect. Man, I'm yards are getting tall already. I'm going to collect from them for that freaking mow and go. And I'm going to come back here and mess around in the backyard. I'm determined to make some money today. Okay, when I tell you guys that I charge like five bucks a shrub, I mean, you grab something like this, and it's like a trash can size, and you just walk around it, trim it, and you hit five of them, it takes 10, 15 minutes, clean it up, and you cut the yard too, so that's an extra 25 bucks. Yeah, that's cool, but something like this, you charge 10 bucks each. Now, I'm not gonna count every single one and say, well, I think there's 11 or 12 here because they're a little stick or whatever. And who knows what these are? Some of these are weeds, some of these are Rose of Sharon, whatever. They want them along here, but they want them trimmed back. So you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 bucks, that's what you do. And that's what I'm charging. I'm getting 100 bucks for this and I'm doing it in between the rain. And I made 60 for my um, random mow and go. And the dude's right across the street. I'm actually gonna get paid right now. And um, all you need is a hedge trimmer, a couple trash cans, a rake, a little step ladder, some loppers, you know, my place to get rid of the, the scraps. You'll notice that I cut them lower in the back on some of these. I still gotta go back through because. Um, those back ones because they're gonna hit the fence and stuff and when these start blooming out it will um that cover up any of the mismatch in the back anyway I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong I don't care because I've been doing this every once in a while for them every couple years I chop them back I don't know if I trim my pampas grass right all I know is I've been trimming that same pampas grass for 20 years it hasn't died yet you can't really kill a lot of this stuff maybe in tree trimming you can but these things you know you can't stop them from growing and um you know i'm not doing like prestige crap here i have some prestige accounts but they're still just mowing i don't do the fertilization and um you can make some money even being like a rookie at this you know you can go out you can find some wacky stuff to clean up it's pretty much just like a cleanup you know you got to get all that crap out of there too there you go i just thought i'd share that with you I'm gonna go ahead and keep working because I want to get this done. And this one right here, that's gonna be a whopper. 
Yeah. It probably won't be, they won't be as high. They're not gonna go even with the fence because if you look at this fence, it sways. It goes up and down. To the naked eye, you can tell it slopes down right here and then goes back up. They're just gonna make it look better. Get the stuff from going all the way over and get them more even. They'll be uneven later on in the air. Figured I'd jump over to this one. But look at this thing. That's a fine. Holy crap. Success. Or something like that. <laughs> I'm not going to cut the yard. It's still drizzling, hasn't stopped. So, I didn't do this last bush. Why? Because I ran out of cans. And I just felt like stopping anyway. I've been here an hour and a half. So, I, I will get a hundred bucks for that. And then I'm going to cut the yard whenever. So, I got all my cans full. Nine cans of crud. One hundred dollars. The hard way. That's an hour and a half. It wasn't that bad. The worst part wasn't cutting it down. The worst part was breaking it all up, getting it all out of the mix. So next time I, when I come back, I'm going to blow out underneath the bush, blow around all that stuff out there, and then I'm just going to mulch the whole yard up, and it'll look a lot better. And then the yard will really be good after a few times. And I'll, I'll of course, that last bush would be like one more can. And so I'll trim it too. No problem. You can make some money even in the rain, which I'm probably gonna be doing all week. I don't know. I think I'm done for the day. I just, I've had enough fun right now. I'd rather be cutting grass than that. But, um, and the next project I start would probably be like that too. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with something super long right now. And I'm going to um, just wrap it up. See what tomorrow brings. I'm, I'm behind. But that is the life of a lawn freak. You are always at the mercy of the weather. And even though you know it's going to be okay and you'll get them done eventually, you still stress out about it. I do. I stress out. It's constant in the spring. You just freak out all the time. Now look at that list. 32 people. I got, I'm like, what the heck? What am I going to do? I'm just one man. And that's the way it's gonna be. I'm gonna do them. But my filming might be going bye-bye next week. It might be quick clips, boom, 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 because I'm gonna to have to do eight a day. That's just how it is. There's no more playing around. It's gonna be eight a day, and um, I'm gonna have a lot left over, and they're gonna be taller. And if it rains next week at all, I'm really screwed. Yeah, that's the life. That's the lawn care lifestyle. Eh, don't be scared. It's okay. It's not that bad. It's better than 7-Eleven. Thought I'd show you this. The wacky stuff goes in this pile. So I gotta walk through the slop water to put it away. I'm gonna have stinky feet, but I'll leave my shoes outside. The good thing about taking care of bushes and stuff like this right now is it, it doesn't get you all itchy. It doesn't have the, it's not blooming. And a little bit of it's blooming, but not much of it. So it, it doesn't have like that crazy stuff. These things, when they're um, green, bad news, make you itchy scratchy. Uh oh, time to fill another truck. He'll haul that one over there away. See, he'll unhook first. He'll leave this one right here, then he'll back up all the way down there, hook that one up. Take it out, unhook. Hook back up to this one, back it down in. Leave it. Back up, hook back up to the other full one, and I'm head on out. You gotta do what you gotta do. No easy way. Just like this. I gotta walk through the slop. Alright. Alright, drop the girls off. Time to inspect this yard. That's right, I came back and did it last night. I actually did three yards. Yep. It got super nice from five o'clock till dark. 
it was super nice. I couldn't resist. I had I had to do a yard, and um, so I got the girls some snacks, and we came here first. And I didn't play around. I just cut it. Then I um, I went and did two more with them. I have yards down that street too. Man, I am so far behind. But look, there's no rain right now. Everything is soaking wet though. It started raining again about midnight. I could hear it on the roof. I was like, oh gosh. But today's a new day. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, we made it to the yard. We'll do this one first because it doesn't look that bad. It's a first cut, but like I said, there shouldn't be too much action. They got a couple trees back there, but I did the fall cleanup. I don't like to film here because they usually come outside and talk and stuff. I'm just not gonna do it. Plus, I'm in a rush. That's the story. It's time to bust ass. There you go. You get what you get and don't throw a fit? Well, they got more than their money's worth. They actually saved me some time, but not as much as they thought four trash bags already raked up for me so yeah there was some leaves but I you know had to go pick up a log out of the backyard put it in my trailer then start the yard that backyard had way too many leaves I had a double cut sucker I was just about to get pissed off but then I realized hey it's not raining could be worse to the next one. All right, we'll put that there. Look at my list. Sheesh. Look, I've only gotten a few done. <laughs> All right, this is my third yard for today. I just cut it. Now I have to trim it and um, blow it off. So 36 in the front, 21 in the back. The last yard I did the um, 21 on the front and the 36 in the back. And why did I use a 21 on that front? Just because it has like old bushes and like a tree or something that must be rotten in the stump and it's got some bad dips and it will scalp and it doesn't look good with the 36. So I just do the 21 and that's how it is. But I wanted to let you know that you know I'm back here already and I have been fitting in along the way. You know, um, second cuts of the season, third cuts, and so just think if I wouldn't have came here when it was freezing cold, bundled up, raking those gumballs up out of the backyard, I'd be doing that right now on a bad week like this with the rain and stuff. I still got those, but it's only way I'm surviving is by throwing in a bunch of these that I've already done too. So I'm banging them out. I'm trying to show you a variety on here. It's hard for me to do. It's hard for everybody to do that makes these lawn care videos because we're filming sort of covertly. You know, it's kind of sneaky stuff we're doing here. And um, <laughs> it is, and it's not something that everybody can put out there, but I want to show you a, gr a good variety. I want to try and show you all the different yards, but there are five or six yards I'm not going to show you. I might break one of those out this year, but a couple of them I can't do that because um, I can't take the risk. You know, they're always home. One of them's 80 bucks, 80 bucks a week. It takes me an hour and a half and I use the 36 on it, the whole thing, um, and I trim the spots that you don't have, that I can't fit the 36, I just use the weed eater. And I don't wanna show that one because I can't risk losing that one because they're always home. And um, think about that, okay? I got an hour and a half, I made 80 bucks. All right, sure, you gotta pay your taxes and all that, but they pay me every fourth cut. So pretty much every month, it gets a little screwy because some months, you know, you get five weeks in there. You can have like five Thursdays in a month. Be aware of that too. But man, you know, that is 80, 80, 80, and 80. Those checks right there, those are some nice checks. Where else can you go? So it takes me an hour and a half. That's four, four, six hours. Where else can you go and work for six hours a month and get over 300 bucks you know or if you break it down to like say that's a day that's one day six hours work 
over $300. Uh, you know, that's those are my good ones. I don't have enough of those, but everybody will find a few of those. And I have some $60 ones and stuff like that that, that take me like an hour and they're cool. But I'm not going to take a chance on um, getting caught filming. And um, one of them is actually a friend of mine that we used to ride bikes with. And he is a president and CEO of his own business. And he's got all kinds of stuff going. And there are some hints to who he is on my channel. He has shared my videos on a few of his um, websites and things. He likes, he actually is. Um, excited that I'm kind of doing something like this YouTube deal and he um, he thinks it's cool because he's been into this whole social media and online and marketing and making money thing and he thinks it's neat to see me and he watches my channel he's gonna see this <laughs> and he um but he doesn't want he knows that everybody in this area knows that I am friends with him and but they don't really know where he lives, so to speak, so much. And he don't want his cars and his house and his whole layout on video. And I understand that, so I'm doing that. And, um, but yeah, not everybody on YouTube can show you all their yards, but I'm gonna try and show you a big variety. So right now we're just starting with ones that you haven't seen. All right, that's what the story is. I gotta go, I've been talking too much, man. Three yards, that list down here, that is not cool. Not cool. All right, another first cut of the season. Oh, 36 in the front, small mower in the back. Look at that, oh my gosh. Actually, that's my yard there too, and she did her own cleanup for me. She raked it all up. And um, there's my yard right there. And that's a weekly, but I'm skipping it this week because I gotta head on down, down there. This is what it's like being solo. If you can have a family member or something help you, it'd be good in the spring. It would be very good. Man, oh man. Kind of tall. Backyard. I know this backyard and I'm dreading it. This is a slow roll. Slows me down every time. All right, freaks, the hits keep coming. I had another person call me and say they're ready. I said, I'm not ready. I gotta do this yard. You remember this one? Oh, you've seen me do it before. Actually, last year when I did it, this lady over here came out and had me do her yard a couple different times because she wasn't feeling that good. Well, guess what? I said, I'll bet she has me take care of her yard in the future. She just came out and wants me to take care of it. But it's not a permanent thing. If she starts to feel better, can she take back over her yard? I said, yeah, sure. Because I know how that goes. So I'm over there. I just trimmed it. So this is what I mean by in the springtime, just stuff happens. You know, there's my trimmer right there. Um, you pick up so much extra work. I'm going to be cutting with the kids tonight again. It's just how it is. It's how it is. You know what? You know who's down there right now? This is kind of stalkerish, but she's cool. I don't think she'd get too mad. Um, anyway, that's the. I'm not going to film her. It's female lawn care. Solo female lawn care. In this town, been doing it at least since the 90s. I remember. There's a rig right there. Now, she takes out just a zero turn on the days that she has to use that. And then she takes out a walk behind sometimes. Right now, today's just zero turn day. So, she's got a system going. Everybody get a system. Oh, I gotta get rid of this song. It's time for some heavy stuff. I got work to do. All right, I got the phone. We're going stealth mode. 36 on the front, 21 on the back. You could use one of those 30 inch um, Toro Time Masters or whatever. Back here. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, cool deal. Now to head across the street. Oh, man. Let's see what this looks like. No stripe. Still worked. I scooped up that. She'll be happy. 
Well freaks, I'm all done and it's raining. I finished in the rain, it's just a mist, but it's coming in harder. That yard actually looks better than this yard. Which is a shame. That's the way it is. I had a casualty. We had a casualty. You ready for this? Are you ready? You remember last year I ripped my um, camouflage pants? Well, I ripped them again. In a rush, I hopped the fence and I heard whoosh, And this is um, in a different spot. It's not the butt, it's the crotch. How'd you like that shot, huh? <laughs> so, lawn care can be expensive. You have to spend a lot of money on pants, at least if you're me. Actually, what the, the thing is, is that I, um, I try and bulk all winter, right? And then every spring, I bust out my pants. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> it ripped some more. Hold on. Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, looking good. Yep, I'm officially done for the day. I think tonight I'm gonna pick up the girls from daycare and head straight to Kohl's and buy some more pants. <laughs> Maybe like three pair. But I'm not moving up a size. I'm gonna keep that waist the same. Just try to get bigger muscles. Might get the relaxed fit. All they wanted was chips and cheese. Really? Just chips and cheese. Chips and cheese. I got all kinds of stuff on mine. Shredded beef, black beans, queso, shredded cheese, and guacamole. One time I I heard my um, my friend Clark, he said No not Clark. Peyton. Peyton said and then she said, beads make you fight. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright, freaks. I'm looking for my pants. Wait, what's that? A couple little toy freaks down there. Anyway, here's what I get. Alright? These are urban pipeline cargo pants. I like these. Now, they had a 3434 in the ones that I ripped on the bush last week, so I'm getting them. But man, these camouflage, all they got are jacked up ones. 3234. 3832. Oh, hell no. But no, man, no 3434. It's jacked up. I am getting a pair of these. You got the Cardinals and the Blues. That's the Black Blues shirt. Sure, I'm taking it. Extra large, extra large. Look at this. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, this one's got a stain on the front. Look at that. Ooh, disgusting. <laughs> We're gonna put that one back right here in front. Let somebody else get that. Oh, that's a double X, no way. I haven't been making that kind of games. Let's see, is that clean? Ah, that's a clean Can shirt. I smell it. I think it smells very good. That's me right there. Hey, there's Chunk. It's looking like the 80s are back. Hey, the 80s are back. Oh, uh, if you weren't born in the 80s, well, you might have been born in the 80s, but if you weren't living in the 80s, and you don't know, that was everywhere. That was everywhere in the 80s. I'm just saying. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I would totally wear this if it has sleeves. If it was on like a shirt like this. Yeah, I need me a shark shirt. Well, I'm not in a rush. I didn't even take the girls to daycare. Why? Because there's no point. We might as well just stay home. It never stopped raining. Oh, the trash man left my can out in the street. In the puddle, of course. Put my wading boots on and get it. It always looks like it's not gonna rain, but then it just keeps raining. Look how green my grass is. All the yards are just turning green. Boom, just like that, in one week. So we had a couple of nice days, and then lots and lots of rain. And then 
and then a nice day, and then lots and lots of rain. I know a lot of you are dealing with it too, but if you're solo, it ruins your life. My phone won't stop ringing. Last night, I still have people at seven o'clock. Greg, are you still cutting grass this year? Yeah. Oh, can you get mine? I'm like, it's gonna be next week. And they're like, oh, it's gonna be so tall by then. And I'm like, well, it's gonna have to be next week. And then they're like, okay. I get off the phone, I'm going, so tall. I'm just, it just, I've heard it like 10 times now. So, uh, it just freaks me out, man. I got tall grass. So I guess we're gonna go in here and just kind of hang out all day. Cause I don't know. I'll take them out with me tonight if uh, if it does clear up. But I mean, really, all I could do after this would be to show up at the yard, trim everything, edge the sidewalks, blow it off, and roll, and do that to like six or seven yards, completely prep them. And then tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, I could just pull up, mow, blow. And go. But I'm still gonna be behind. Dozens and dozens of yards. Alright, freaks. <sighs> the rain stopped, the sun is coming out, and I'm going for it. And the first yard I'm doing right here is a brand new one. Got the call yesterday in the middle of the rain. So um, I'm doing it today. It's the first one after the storm. Backyard, I can use a 36 on because the gate's big enough, but I dare not take it back there right now. And that's how you have to cut when it's wet. You have to be very cautious. This would sink in, the tires would spin. I could use some new tires actually, um, but I'm gonna have to push mow all that because it has less of a footprint. Even though the tires are you know thin, it's just a regular mower, there's hardly any um, weight to it. This would sink down in spots and make a mess. So it's gonna take me longer, but I'm getting something done. I'm gonna be cool and be easy. It's the first cut too, so you gotta make it look right, you know. And um, I picked it up. It's a corner lot. They're usually a little bit bigger when they're on the corner and they will get more garbage and more leaves. But even though they don't have trees, they'll get all that stuff like, will come down this street, stick up in there, or stuff will come flying over and stick up in there. That's just how it goes. So a corner lot, it's always more because of this extra boulevard and stuff. Around here, 30 bucks is all you can get. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make 30 bucks. And it's dry because it's slanted and sloping. And it's zoysia mixed in with a little fescue and there goes my buddy. He waved at me. He's going, I don't know if you see him or not. But he's out and about. Game time. Well, I couldn't take any after shots or any footage because the lady was outside the whole time. But when I got to this yard, man, did I have a bunch of leaves. The wind was kicking up again. The weather's been up and down and all around. Sunny for a second, then high winds and cool again. But this yard is the one that got the water line dug up last year and that whole corner of the landscaping was out. Well, somebody put it all back this year, but look at the rocks, man. They got them in my edge. Everything's all jacked up. The rocks are all over in the yard, stepped on, smashed down from a bobcat. They're like stuck in the grooves everywhere. It, it just stinks, man. But I'm gonna get them out a little bit at a time. Like each time I'll reach down and dig out some more um, out of the groove. You know, they, they don't expect me to do it. They're not, they just let me do whatever I want, but I want them out of there so I can lay down a good edge and I don't want them to go flat out when I'm trimming and bust a window or anything. And um, it's just kind of disappointing to see this yard all jacked up because I always had it nice and good, you know. But we'll see how it goes as the season, you know, progresses because, like I said, I will take the extra time and reach down, you know, each visit and clear out a couple more feet of that um, edging. But as far as all over the yard, dude, there's just too many of them. But I will persevere no matter what with this crazy weather and all these cleanups. It's going to get done. Freaks. Is that that guy that tried to jump me last year? I'm not sure if that's him or not. But I'm not scared. Yeah, that was
was definitely him. <laughs> and I had to carry one can over there in between them two cars. And he looked right at me, I looked right at him, and he just went on about his thing. Either he doesn't remember me, or he's scared, because I'm not. I'm not looking for a fight. That's the last thing I'm looking for. But I've changed. I no longer run from crap like that. I used to take two steps back, and I still take two steps back. But it's tit for tat. You kick my dog, I kick your cat. Sometimes this is how it goes. I'm not gonna let somebody bully me around anymore. I've done that. I spent 30 years being some little scaredy cat like that. Afraid of what people would say or think, or they say a word to me or threaten to beat me up. No, I gotta run and hide. Not anymore, it's like, beat me up, dude. I don't care. Either you're gonna win or I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get a little piece of the action, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm in a funky mood, you guys. It's okay. It's gonna be okay, Greg. It's gonna be okay. I didn't even give you guys the after picture of that one. You know what? Let's just drive. There was a dump, and here's how close I was to the dump. That's why I went right then. Let's give you the after. My yards are all jacked up, man. I'm running out of time. Here it is. And I didn't even give you the after of the new one I did. Because she was out there talking to me afterward forever. I just wanted to leave. Uh, sometimes you just want to leave. <laughs> All right. We got a few more. I can get a few more in. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's one o'clock. And I can get a, I can get a few more in, and then tonight I'm gonna have to do some stuff with the girls again if this rain holds off because I can't make your heads or tails of the weather. So, you guys, the weatherman is your friend and your enemy too. Tricky. I remember back in the day, man, I'd be like, I'd be like in a 7-Eleven or in a war, at a job somewhere. We're even talking like early 90s, well mid 90s, early 90s. I was sick for two years, but mid 90s man I'd be in a job it'd be sunny all day I'm in there pissed off because I know I got to go out and the rain's coming I guess I it rains that was harder than this but it seems like I only really had three years of um, good times doing this and what I mean by that is I've either had a job and this where one was interfering with the other or I had um, or I have kids now, and I'm single. So, um, hold on, I see somebody I know. So, um, yeah, now it's hard for me this way. Because I got, I have to get the girls at four o'clock and then I either have to do something with them or not, you know? There was a, only a couple years there where I had kids and this. Before, I used to just work till dark, dude. If, I, if it was a year where I didn't work another job in the summer and I had a lot of yards, I'd just stay out. It was no rush, man. I worked at seven o'clock at night, no big deal. I can't do that anymore. I'd like to. I'd make 400 bucks a day every day. Easy. Now I'm like, oh man, how close can I get to 300 every day, you know, <laughs> before I gotta get the girls or something. So hey, there you go. If you don't have all these responsibilities, you can make some money. You take on stupid yards, all kinds of wacky stuff, man. You work all day and all night. What else you got to do, right? Go home, get on YouTube, play a video game or something. You could do that some other time, man. Make make yourself three, four hundred bucks. All right, I'm in the old part of town. Freaks are all around. Some freaky stuff going down. I love to see what this guy's doing here. Thought I'd show you this. I'm still struggling for time. I'm down in the old part of town. It's all chickweed, man. The yards are all jacked up. First cut of the season. Look at this. The ivy looks dead. Backyard's just as tall. Oh my gosh. Eventually on this channel, you will get to see 
some nice green grass getting cut. <laughs> Here we go. All right, freaks, the wind is ferocious, but I had to show you this. I'm here. Now, why am I at this yard? I'm at this yard because I can bring my kids. It's good to have options. This is the yard where I had that incident, which is it's fitting that I came here today because I've seen that guy, and I'm 99% sure that was the dude at the dump site. I can't be 100% sure, but his image is emblazoned in my mind because I edited that stupid video. Now, mine picture is not emblazoned in his head because it was a one-time incident. That was probably the first time he ever seen me. Just like when someone drives down a street and they yell, you suck, or I used to yell at me when I was riding my bike, you know, doing tricks, you suck, or fag, they'd yell that stuff. Dumb idiots in town. There you go. They don't even know who they yelled at. But you remember that car because it impacted you. Well, that dude impacted me, so I remember him. Plus, like I said, I had to edit it. So don't be running around yelling at people for no reason because they'll remember you. You might not know who you yelled at. Now, this yard's the first cut of the year. My kids are inside hanging out. No, I didn't lose this property because I got into an altercation with the neighborhood bully that the whole neighborhood's had problems with. Everybody's come out, took my side because they've all had incidents before. The fact is, that guy wouldn't shut up every time I left. I said, oh man, okay, I won't be, I won't come over that far anymore. No problem, dude, I won't come down there. He wouldn't shut up, he kept flagging me down. Well, you're supposed to be professional and walk away. Dude, those days are gone for me to where I run and hide from people, okay? I'm 43 years old. If I have a bully come up to me now, I'm, not, I'm gonna stand up for myself. I'm telling you, it's, it's just like YouTube, like anything. I wouldn't be on here making videos right now if I was my old self. A lot of you are too scared to do it. A lot of you are too scared to even get in these yards and hang flyers. You would let that guy cuss you out, talk down to you, to keep your freaking yard. One yard? You're gonna keep, you're gonna, you would let that happen to you? Feel sorry for it. You haven't reached that level where you're gonna stand up for yourself sometimes. And then the fact that he would you know what? That proves my point right there. You stand up to him. And he had to go get someone else to fight his battles. He was not going to stop. He was continuing on, continuing on, continuing on. Until I finally stood my ground and started giving it back to him. Then he went and got someone else. That proves that the next time I came, he would have came out and started it on me again. Because I back down from him, but I didn't. And I didn't back down from his buddy either, so they left me alone. And now I'm back here again, and I bet I don't hear a peep out of him. Now we're gonna walk around here. I don't want you to see his house, because I know some of you guys said that you know, you're gonna snap him up or whatever. We're gonna let it go. We're not gonna let it go, but sometimes you guys gotta stand your ground. And I want you to remember the property line. He was, you remember he strung that line? What did he use here? He went from the stake over here to the one in the back. I'm not gonna show you his house behind me. Look where he put the fence. So I just cut that. Now he probably sees me right now from out his attic window filming and wondering what the hell's going on well he's not going to come out and from the looks of it I was in the right he was claiming that thing but when they had it surveyed sorry bro so there you go when you're just doing something nice and normal not causing anybody a problem and they jump you for that you can either eat crap because you want to make some money and you're willing to do that. I'm not, that's why I'm not in the corporate world. I'm not a corporate slave. I'm not dealing with that stuff anymore. I'm not gonna be like, oh yes, 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 mm -hmm. And I'm not skeeting scared. Oh, I better not put a video out on YouTube. I better just sit here and watch YouTube. I'm doing what I wanna do. I'm living my life. I discovered freedom. And if a bully comes along, hey, I'll at least, I'll at least give you back what you're giving me. Stand my ground. Don't go fighting anybody. 
but we're starting it. But don't let anybody set you back. Break out of your shell. Be who you are. Live to your full potential. Everything will be okay. Find some cool yards you can take kids to or they don't care, man. Look at that. I'm getting ready to cut this sucker. I bet the 48 will look good on this yard, huh? Oh, always keep a loaded camera. Not a gun, a loaded camera on this yard. Gotcha. Okay, no problem, Greg. Fully loaded. Just in case. Got it done in the nick of time. The clouds are rolling in. I'm out of here. The girls are snacking on little mint candies. They're like, what are these things? No. Old lady candies. All right, you freaks. I told you I'll do this. I'm gonna trim it, blow it off, and get the heck out of here. The girls are in the truck right there. Hold over. We're gonna do this, the training. But now, all I have to do is show up tomorrow, if it lets me, mow, blow, and roll. This is how you live the long care lifestyle. I'm still in the same stinky clothes, haven't even been home, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put away a bunch of wet equipment, it's gonna smell real good in my garage. That is the long care lifestyle. it doesn't even matter if I get wet dirty or anything because I'm already trashed but I got four yards man serious water came down I got four yards completely trimmed all I have to do is swing on by and go through the swamp and cut them you're okay boy what are you freaking out about you haven't seen me out there you're okay oh you want to go back there oh, go ahead That's how you make the extra money. That's how you go from 500 to 1,000 a week. Then you go from 1,000 to 1,500. That's how you end up with, you know, $50,000 is because you're gonna hit some $2,000 weeks, a lot of 1,500s. You're not gonna just sit around and wish you got some stuff done because every yard you skip and you have to do next week when it, it's gonna be taller, harder to do, and you lost that money. So it doesn't come back. You know, you miss a week, you miss a day, no pay.
Got the mail. I didn't even get no payments. Then I got State Farm. Time to pay my insurance. So there you go. I got a garage full of stinking stuff. A wet dog and a towel. And my kids are all wound up. But it's okay. I started all this with just a freaking mower. An antique non-self-propelled mower. A funky curve shaft trimmer. And a blower, but actually I've used brooms and stuff when my blower broke. Yeah. And now I got all this stuff, which isn't like what a lot of people have. They buy some really cool stuff. But hey, I'm still in the game. You can be in the game too. But you gotta be willing to get down and dirty. See, I'm feeling better now because the day's over. Earlier today I was like, <sighs> I'm gonna snap somebody up, man. And <sighs> man, it's raining. Now it's like I beat the system. I didn't let it win. I went out there and I trimmed four yards in the rain just to make the day complete. Now the birds are chirping in my head. I feel happy. Pooper, are you happy? Are you happy? Say happy. Good boy, you're happy. Yeah, see, we're all happy. It might be it. <laughs> it. Might be it for the week. We'll see. We might end on a happy note. <laughs>